Well, just a few hours away now from Donald Trump's highly anticipated immigration address, but he just finished a meeting with Mexican President Nieto. What does Hillary Clinton think of Trump's trip to Mexico? You don't build a coalition by insulting our friends or acting like a loose cannon. You do it by putting in the slow, hard work of building relationships. And it certainly takes more than trying to make up for a year of insults and insinuations by dropping in on our neighbors for a few hours and then flying home again. That is not how it works. Okay, so that was her comment. She was also invited to go and receive the same invitation that Donald Trump did. She did not go. She declined. Um, you know, she's enjoyed quite a good number, Greg, with um, the Latino community. So now what do you think? Her response? Oh, this had to drive her batty. It's like, you know, when you throw a party on 4th of July and the guy down the block throws an even better party with better fireworks. <laughs> That's your neighbor bowling. Yeah. That's exactly what happened today. It was like... It was like she just has to say Trump drank her milkshake, and and that's that's what happened. And she should have. I don't think she expected. It's from There Will Be Blood. It, it, I don't think she expected him to say yes so quickly, and that was that was just a brilliant move on his part, and he beat her to it. All right, he so the day. Trump playing uh, chess, and Hillary's what is she playing? Is it not, is it even Archie's checkers? Archie's? I think she's Archie's in fun. I think she's in panic mode. I think they should be in panic mode because we see the, the you know I mean whatever. It looks like he's turned the corner. The first part of August was bad for him. The last part of August looks a lot strong, stronger for him. He's coming around. He's looking very presidential. No one has a problem with what he did today so far. I haven't heard anyone take a, take a negative uh, axe to it. Um, and they should be concerned. I mean, this, this, you know how fast this, this, this is a big ship, but it turns quickly. Yes. He was up, he was up after the conventions, then she went way up, and now it looks like he's probably going to overtake her again. Um, they, they, have, they have reason to be concerned. I said it from the beginning, he is going to go into that, into uh, post-Labor Day, at least tied, if not ahead of her. Mm -hmm. So in her unfavorables as well, some of the recent polling yeah. now uh, ratcheting back up yeah. again after that post deck. The polls don't now. matter. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, they won't. As long as they don't matter now and they don't matter later. But if yeah. later on, well, all of a sudden he starts leading, we start hearing polls don't matter again. I mean, it, it goes both ways. But her, I mean, right matter. there responding to it, it, look, it sounded right. like sour grapes. I mean, she knows that she got beat on this. They issued the invitation. I'm sure you're right that they never thought he would go down there and do it. But like everything else, it's great to tweet from a distance when you actually show up and see people face to face and you have to talk about real issues. It's a totally different thing. I mean, and they talked about, they really highlighted the fact that they do have common interest on building a wall. It does actually benefit Mexico as well. I mean, the Mexican president was quick to point out, we don't want your weapons and your dirty cash. You mm -hmm. know, whereas the drugs are coming into your country, we don't like what's coming into our country. And we don't we don't like this either. Especially for, during for spring reason, break. I mean, and also, you know, the, the Obama administration has largely ignored Mexico. I mean, they would like to, obviously they don't want the hostility, but they would like to have a decent partner, and they don't want the business to go elsewhere as well, manufacturing business, to go, are you making little drawings? She's not drawing superheroes. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I don't know what's, is that a little table over here? I'm sure going to shoot a, a, a J for one, because he's, you know, he's a little one guy. Let me let me guys, tell between his legs a let little me, bit. Oh, please, let me get, let me just introduce a touch of reality to this I odd conversation wait. because uh -huh. you know what Trump went Sarah down Hanks. there I don't know what difference it makes but he goes down there it Lot. looked fine because the president was polite the reality is Trump is the one on the defensive and yet you guys act like it's Hillary Trump is the one who is not only oh, flip-flopping but doing tailspin on the That's whole issue of immigration to you? let me just say tonight he's to got to give a speech that explains why mm -hmm. his position when he was taking on Jeb Bush mm -hmm. Marco Rubio gang of eight when he was saying that President Obama's policy is criminal, why is that now, no, no, no. that Trump, he is Trump adopting the, the very shot. same he plan? Did. Please. No way. I mean, you can't eat one. You know, too, and you're having a hard time, despite your 25 oh, blue cards there, to come up with something to say because Trump's mashed it. He hit the three-point shot what? from half court. No, but he's making a good he's point. He's got what? his... He has to he distinguish must have it. No, because it's not. Makes no yeah, sense. The point that really... Watt's making isn't about today, it's about tonight. Mm -hmm. He has to distinguish himself from the people that he's mocked, which now he sounds more and more like. Yeah. That's a fair point. He said, listen, I think the people who are experts on immigration reform in the country, people who, some of them, back Trump because they said, oh yeah, we, we think. They say now Trump is sounding like one of these people 
who is less focused on enforcing the law and securing the border than he is on making a deal about amnesty, which used to be the dirty word so, on the right. So the, the way that he has distinguished himself from those people so far, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what he said, is that he he's not going to create a path to citizenship. The people who are here illegally have to leave and come back. And that seems to be the one place where he does differ from the people who came out early on and were talking in Gang of Eight and Amnesty and all that right. kind okay, of stuff. So, so Melissa, he sticks to that. Right. Okay, so Melissa, yes. as he's going down this rational path, what happens then if he says mass deportation, a mass deportation he's, force in the country, he's, he's not, back he's not to where he was mass before. Deportation. Oh, so he's changed then because he said mass deportation and mass deportation force. This is the reality of the news today that you guys are obscure. Uh, but you're not going to be happy no matter what he said. If he came up for a cure for cancer, you'd find Look, a way I, to talk Here's to what him. I think is in the news right now, is that in the speech tonight, he's going to contrast himself with Hillary Clinton on illegal immigration. He's going to say that, you know, Hillary Clinton wants to create a path to citizenship. Right. And he says, listen, everybody's got to obey the law. He's going to say that he's not for executive amnesty, Obama style. He's, he wants more strict E-Verify and he's going to say no to sanctuary cities. Right. Is that going to satisfy either the hardliners? No. Or the people on the left, let's say the people who are immigrants? No. Wow. So did it change any minds? Yeah. No, 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 no. Grasping. Oh, yeah. That's Grasping. what you guys are doing. Grasping. The few guys live in a We're drowning. We're losing. We're slipping. Oh, yeah. Who's that? I don't know. Hillary How looking. Uh, like did that. you see her delivery on that speech? She looked at, uh, uh, like aggravated. She looked mad. She looked nervous. Oh, she looked like, right? and she should be. Trump was killing it in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, she was killing it to the American Legion and All to right. people who are on the line, people who you generally are Republicans who should be backing the Republican yeah. nominee. She's losing steam. There's still 69 days. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, I wonder who's leading in those polls there. I don't know. I don't, oh. I don't care about the polls. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're back to that. Huh? All right. Oh, Shall we do this? Yeah, why not? Why not? Make sure to tune into the Fox News channel tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern for Trump's immigration address. More to come on the big speech later, but up next, Hillary Clinton returns to the campaign trail after spending nearly two weeks raising money and avoiding the press. She, of course, took some brand new shots at Trump. You're going to hear them ahead. Stay with us.